Welcome to Newcastle, home of Greg's and home of Angel of the North, the angel that sits on high and watches over all Geordies throughout the entire world, apparently. Why am I here? Well, I'm here to film the final round of the FIM 2024 Super Enduro World Championships. So, without any further ado, let's roll the intro and get cracking. So here we are in the rain outside the Utilita Arena in Newcastle and specifically we're here with Cage Power Sports who are one of the sponsors for the TTR race team. So let's pop inside and see how they do. And that determines the grid positions for tonight. But, Paul, there is an added zest in Super Bowl tonight because the riders get points for winning it. Three points, so I explained there's a little bit of added extra tonight. Yeah, so uh, it's all going down to Super Bowl. And the reason we say that is because there's three points at stake tonight on Super Bowl. And for the three points, if Billy does the Super Bowl damage that he's been doing all season, then you are going to see a world champion crowned. So basically, if Billy Bob were to be fastest in Super Bowl, as Paul said, he's done many times so far, he will be your 2024 world champion. So, lots to go. So, it is what it is. It's one lap. Absolutely as fast as you can go. Flat out. Right through the sections. This is the first time you've seen these obstacles. These are the best of the best, so don't expect it to be as smooth as this all evening. Will Hall now going through the arrow rock section. There he goes. Lining up. Ladies and gentlemen. It is Mitch Brightmore. So 
Ridge kicking it in inside. You cannot afford to make a single mistake on this lap. It's all about being precise and fast as you go through. Through that rocky section, the toughest part of the circuit. What can he do? It's Brian Moore now, number 12 on the plate. 35 seconds, he's going to cross through the line. Let's have a look. Just second. Facing the man who is the current hardest Euro champion, which is basically the same as this from outdoors. It is Manny Lettenbecker. Oh, the two strike pace yeah, This is fast. He is quick. He sits third in the championship, almost certain of getting the bronze medal this year. Here he comes. He's going to be a big challenge tonight. Can he take a win? He's throwing everything at it. There he goes through the rock sections. Having been through those tricky slips. Oh dear. Bit of Yeah, he's coming 
through. Checking out there we are, now they're on the Jack Price and crosses the line. Will be smooth, it's going to be attractive against him. Here comes Paul Walters on the 13th again. And look how good the technique going through there. 15 still in third there, and he's losing
The top four places in the World Championship event taken by British competitors. Our victory tonight. Five, Five seconds. seconds! Here we go. Wow, now he's oh, through the rocks. Bills into the rocks first. Bit of oh. Oh. It's now Hartnett.
he's doing what he's doing. Well done. Let's see the talent on the line is uh, second to the line. Uh, it's going to be in the middle of 57. He's got a very good leader. He's staying as well. He's in third place. And Billy just slipped through there. Literally a second row in this car on the last lap board.
Bradley just out in the passing half forward from the end way through. And he's already up into the top five. Let's see, there he is, 430. There goes Smurza with a lightning start. Ash Michael already through to second. Still one more race to go this evening for this class. So uh, as soon as we have confirmation of where we are, we'll let you know. But Brightmore, two wins out of two, well on course for securing the championship that his brother took in 2023. Yeah, that's right, he's in a great position now, so. There we go. Letton Bickler gets a flyer on the orange battery coach here in the hard injury on Rocha. There's Billy Sun at the back. Brightmore's already in trouble with number 12. But Billy just sits back. Don't panic. He's taking his time. Now where's Johnny Walker? Johnny's now in fourth place. Right now. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Right, more down the inside, Sutter's got an absolute flyer as well, but look, it's the big man again. Number five on the plate, he's got through there. But Sutter, so Sutter goes through from the first time. He leaves the Israeli, goes through. There he is, so Sutter on the 47. Big, big jump. Ash Whitemore, the solid success at the moment. But so, as he goes through, that's all he needs to do. He doesn't need to do anything dramatic. So the man throws where it is, the man on the white, the big man who is in second place. But turn to at the front cellar, all over the place. Legs going all over the show, he is all next to the tiny Israeli there. As he was going through traffic. So the blue flags waving the clearance and nice and sure. The grand job, oh look in the rock sections again. That shows you how easy to go wrong. Ron is getting tired now. It's been a fast and furious racing with very little gap in between. So they're starting to get a little bit tired now. I think Senna's got this one, Paul. Yeah, you say that, but we've still got uh, just under two minutes on the clock. So we're still looking at, again, possibly another three laps. That's going to make it interesting. Actually, the right ball, there he is. Number seven on the plate. That red plate is going to stay there on his bike for sure. In fact, that will probably turn into gold very shortly. Just again, it's looking good for him. And we've got... Spurs are still so, there in third and on five. The man on in white for the long way back. Really yeah, so, it looks like we, uh, we've still got a few laps remaining though. Yeah, 19 seconds on the clock as we go through. So, Stella will sneak through. Another couple of laps to go. And it looks like he's got this one, has to be said. He's driving brilliantly this time. First time he's been immediately at the front. And he's showing what he's capable of. But, Ashton Brightmore, the evening could well be his. Sella's going to win the, the uh, victory. But it looks as though Brightmore's going to win the war for sure. And he... We are going into the last lap. The last lap and they are very, very close. Now they last by a bit second for second. He won't now. He's going to go for it. Sella will know he's there. Is he going to finish off the win? I think he's going for it. He is going for it. Now they're coming into the right of Z-Log section. Sound of Axel is late, so the one more leaps in. Looks at the action, and there's Harley in the rocks. There's definitely Harley in the rocks. Here we go, it's left and dead. It's coming down to the last couple of turns. Who's going to get through the rocks quickest? Oh, 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 oh.
and you're going third place goes to Milan Schmuza. So Milan in third place. Milan Schmuza, third place. He gets it on the better last race result. So just to show everyone that he got the better last race result, I believe second in the last race. So put your hands together for Milan. Second goes to Suf Salah. So Suf, second in the championship. Can you make your way up please Suf? So Suf the second. And the winner, as you all know, put your hands together for Ashton Brightmore. So, uh, this is the, the top three of the junior, the world champion himself, with the number one plate. Okay, the number one plate from Bastian Goldschild, everyone. So, Bastian. Bastian. So, Bastian is coming. So, again, the icing on the cake for, for, for Ashton. So, the number one plate, Ashton from Bastion. There we go. And, uh, so that's your top three of the juniors. Here we go. So I'm here now with Ashton Brightmore, the new world champion for 2024 for the junior section. How are you feeling? Yeah, over the moon. Uh, need to let it settle in a bit, but. I'm just over the moon to do it one year straight after my brother following his footsteps. It's, it's mega, yeah. Absolutely fantastic result. What's for you next? So we've got the hard enduro season coming up. Uh, we've got about two months of training, so we're going to get the hammer down hard. Train in the gym, train on the bike, and uh, yeah, it's going to be epic. Fantastic. How did you think it went out there? Were you nervous? A bit nervous to start with, but I got that first race win, and then the second and third race, yeah, stuff were pushing me quite a bit, so... Uh, I had to work really hard for it, but the third race managed to get it on the last lap, so really happy to do it in front of the home crowd. Brilliant. How was the bike performing? Yeah, bike worked mint all, all season, to be honest. Uh, no problems. Just, yeah, just each race getting better and better, so it's just a learning curve and we're, and we're getting there. Fantastic. So next season, will you be 18 then? Uh, yeah, but if you win the junior title, you have to move up, so... So you're moving up? Yeah, we're going to mix it with the big boys, so I've got a lot of work to do to uh, try and get on top of that, so... So who uh, do you think you're, um, you're most worried about being against next year? Not worried, you know, just it's all a learning curve like the junior season was, so... I'm going to take each race as it is and uh, train hard and, yeah, just learning. No, fantastic. I understand the pressure was on because obviously your brother won last year. Yeah. How's he feeling about it? Yeah, just a family commitment, you know. We're all a family and uh, two world titles in the uh, house. It's really good. So. Fantastic. Well, congratulations. It was yeah. fantastic to watch and yeah. it was superb result. Well done. Yes. In third place in the World Championship, Roman Lescar. In second, a real fighter of heaven, you've seen one. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Suf Salah. But your 2024 FIM World Super Enduro World Junior Champion, it is Ashton Brightmore. So John Collins. The FIA Maduro director now presents the trophies third place, Roland Niska. And the silver medal goes to Suf Sala. But the gold medal and the world junior championship, Ashton Rymore.
clear the track, everybody, please, because the cheerleaders are about to come on and strut their stuff. Clear the track, everybody.
because this is the podium for the Grand Prix of Great Britain 2024 for the FIM Super Enduro World Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, in third position, please welcome Manny Latin Second, ladies and gentlemen, the man who's done it the hard way, the privateer, he's worked so hard tonight. Please, a massive cheer for Johnny Walker! <laughs> but we want you to raise the roof. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the British Grand Prix 2024 it is for Team Husfano Billy! And ladies and gentlemen, our winning manufacturer, it is Husfana. <laughs> winning trophy to Billy Ball! <laughs> Not here, Bastian Blanchard, in fact, is going to present the trophy first. Bastian Blanchard, along with the Aero. Whole shot award as well. Goes to Billy Ball. It's now the morning after and what an amazing night it was. I've never been to Super Enduro before and I'm hooked. It's, it's epic. The atmosphere there was just superb. Even though there's a few empty seats, the crowds were going crazy. There was a few junk people about, but it was amazing. 
brilliant, brilliant atmosphere, great to see, and I love the motorsport. Just when I did the Mickey X Dance experience in Wales, it really got me hooked in enduro and off-roading. And this was brilliant. If you ever get the chance, go and see it. It is fantastic. It's very hard to explain. Now, what did we see in the end? Well, not only did we see Billy Bolt bring home his fourth world title, but he did it in the UK. And more specifically, he did it in his hometown of Newcastle. And what a fantastic result for Newcastle. What a fantastic result for the UK and great for the crowds to see. But for me, the highlight was Ashton Brightmore, the young 17 year old, now FIM Super Enduro Junior World Champion. Lovely guy to talk to, very humble, very in the zone, and he was amazing. Great to see, great riding. He's got an amazing future ahead of him, and I'm looking forward to seeing where he goes next. Brilliant, brilliant night. Now, Super Enduro is new to me, as I say, and I've never really been involved in that kind of thing. Okay, I'm not gonna go out and buy a Super Enduro bike and start competing, but I'm gonna start following because the skills involved. Some of those rocks, you see some amazing riders slipping off on those slippery rocks, getting caught on those uh, logs. It's hard to explain, but when you're down there on that level, the, the height of them is just phenomenal. It's some amazing skills. And you see some brilliant riders take some tumbles and it makes my sort of 40 mile an hour crash on my enduro bike look pathetic, to be honest. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm hooked, I'm absolutely hooked. And it's a big thank you to Cage Power Sports for hooking me up for the hotel, the tickets, and the opportunity to go and film. And uh, thank you to my old mate, Andy Davidson. Um, you may remember him from Motomundo. Well, um, he set me up with all this and I'm really pleased that I came. And it isn't gonna be my last time. I can feel it in my bones. But for now, I'm gonna get on the road and take the five and a half journey back home. And hopefully I won't get a speeding ticket because I got flashed on the way up here. I wasn't speeding, well, well I was, but I didn't think I was speeding because apparently I was in the wrong speed zone. Well, the correct speed zone, but I was doing the wrong speed. Just gotta wait for that letter now. It's my first speeding ticket, I think in 20 years. <laughs> Anyway, that's it from me. Thank you very much for joining me. Please like, subscribe, and share this video. Um, I'll put some links for the Super Enduro World Championship thing in the description. And uh, go and check it out because it's an amazing sport. So until next time, please ride and drive carefully, but have fun. Bye-bye.